Hey everyone, it's me Curtis. Welcome to my channel or welcome back if you're a returning subscriber. Before we get on into the Q&A part of today's video, I just wanted to quickly preface today's video by saying that I hope that all of my viewers are staying as safe and as healthy as you possibly can with um, regards to everything that's going on in the world right now in terms of the COVID-19 pandemic. I know a lot has changed, a lot is changing still, we're still learning about this virus as we're trying to tell people how to deal with it. Um, but I hope that you guys are staying as optimistic as you can possibly can be uh, and hope that we will be able to live a somewhat more typical lifestyle very soon. So now that that's out of the way, we can actually get on into the questions that I asked you guys for over on Instagram actually. I asked you guys for questions like three different times and I just never ended up filming the video. So now I kind of just typed up some of the ones that I saw um, that a lot of people asked. And I'm going to be answering those for you guys today um, with the help of my cockatiel here, Anna. So the first question is, did you used to have hermit crabs? Uh, and when I first saw this question, I was like, what in the world? Like, that doesn't make any sense. But then I realized, like, when I first started my channel back in, like, 2015, like, five years ago, my intro and, like, my whole brand was different and everything. I think it was, it was like, CG Pets 101, and in my intro, uh, I had, like, hermit crabs because I used to own hermit crabs. I had purple pinchers, I believe is what they were called, um, and fancy hermit crabs. I had three of them, I believe. It was, like, Caramel, Princess, and Charlie. Those are my three hermit crabs. I'm surprised I actually remember their names. But they were purple pinchers, and I did have them, um, like, years ago. Like, not anything really recently. I don't even think I've made, like, real videos about hermit crabs, but I did, yes, indeed, used to own them. So then the next question is, what is your dream pet, and what is a pet that you would never want to own? I always have a hard time kind of answering this question about, like, dream pet, or, like, a pet I wish I could have, because at this point, I own, like, a lot of animals, and... I'm not just saying that to say that, but there's animals that I've owned that I probably won't own again. But if I had to say like a quote unquote dream pet, I would say that probably one day I would like to own a pig. I will always keep saying that, but you know, eventually like I would like to own a mini pig, like the little teacup ones, which are not really teacups, so it's like misleading, but uh, I would like to own a mini pig or maybe also rats. Um, there's nothing really stopping me from owning rats right now, other than the fact that I don't have the space, because rats like need... I had more vertical cage, I guess you can say. Yeah, that's not really a dream pet. It's just kind of an animal that I wish I could um, own. And as far as an animal that I wish I would never want to own, I don't think there's really any animal that I would like say I'm never getting this for like 100% thousand sure, percent sure. But if there was one that I'd have to be like, eh, probably not, it would probably be like mini monkeys or like the African pygmy marmots. So that was like the really cute finger monkeys that people see um, or that you see online usually. The next question is, when did you get your nose pierced? So, I forgot, because I, my, my life keeps going even when I'm not recording and putting it on the internet. So for me, this is like somebody's asking this now, but I got my nose pierced back in January. January 18th, I think. It was literally the day before I went back to start my spring semester at my university. Uh, so I, yeah, it was like January 18th or something like that. What were your first two pets? So my first two pets were, um, Oh, definitely a guinea pig. I remember I begged my dad, like, so much. That's a whole story of its own, but it wasn't even for a guinea pig, it was for a hamster. I think I was in fourth grade, and I had a guinea pig, yes, only one. Her name was Destiny. She was a black and white American short hair. Uh, she was a really nice guinea pig. And as it can be assumed, I really didn't take the greatest care of her. Um, and I, yeah, I just regret that. So, I, she was one of my first animals. And then my second animal that I got, I believe, was my cockatiel Anna, which is on my here on my shoulder. She was kind of like a rescue, quote unquote. She was my great grandmother's bird. Then uh, my great grandmother started to become like slightly ill with like Alzheimer's, and then my grandmother took her in. And my grandmother just wasn't really the greatest with caring for her. Um, she actually did have a friend who unfortunately passed along along the way, and then. I ended up getting hurt from my grandmother, and this was like years and years and years ago, so I was like before middle school. So Anna is one of the um, little champ pets of the room. Are you going to get another hamster? This is a question I got a lot of, um, and the answer is yes, eventually. Um, there's no like date or time that I'm going to say, okay, this date, this time I'm going to get a hamster. Kind of just depends when things start going back to normal and all that stuff. I would also like to kind of make a new style hamster cage if that's a possibility. I mean, I have a spare detail that's just open, 
But personally, I don't really like using the detox. I prefer not to. I have a whole video about that, by the way, if you would like to check that out up here in the card. But yeah, I would love to own hamsters again. I really miss having a hamster. Uh, hamsters are definitely one of my favorite animals to own, but there's not really many for adoption. A lot of the adoption places are closed. Um, and even like pet stores and local pet stores are keeping their stock limited. So at this time specifically, it's hard, but I'm also not super, super actively looking. But if one comes up, of course, I would take it in. Um, the next question is one that says, why haven't we seen your black and white mouse that you posted a while back? So like I said, I asked these questions on Instagram, and so like they're referring to posting on Instagram. I posted this photo here on my Instagram of my mouse. I believe her name was Senna, uh, and that is because she passed away. I got them back in January along the same time, uh, probably a week or so before I went back to the college, as I was saying. And sometime along when I was in college, they didn't do well. None, none of the three mice that I actually got, Juniper, Senna, and Jasmine. I won't forget their names. They were beautiful mice. Um, I don't think I really posted that much about them. I have some photos of them that I'm probably gonna share as time goes on. But All right guys, so sorry if my frame shifted a little bit. I got on it um, now back in the corner. And I have one of my newest mice, uh, this little girl here, her name's Ivy. I actually have twin mice again, um, identical mice. I used to have two white mice like a long time ago. Those were actually my first two mice, Daisy and Poppy. And the next question is asking, what are you doing? The next question asks, how long have you had your Etsy shop? So this is kind of like, I wanted to do something for this because I actually had um, hit two years back in April. I can't remember exactly which day, but I was going to do like a whole thing and I just never got around to it, but I may do something like that later, but I've had my Etsy shop now for just over two years. Someone asked, why don't you make videos that often anymore? And I've spoken about this before in videos, um, and I'm, I'm going to sound like a broken record, but college, like I'm a college student now, I have a lot of responsibilities, classes and things to do. Now that my most of my classes are over, if you guys just saw the lighting change, my timer just went off for my animals, so the lights went off, so I'm going to turn my fish tank off as well. But yeah, that's the reason. I usually, am just, I'm just busy with class, and I'm not, I live um, in a dorm, so I'm not on campus, and that is, how nice is this? Like, my mouse literally just pooped on my own. Um, but yeah, that's the reason. I'm not going to go super into it. Uh, hopefully now I can make some more videos now that my classes are coming to an end, finally. But that's why I was taking a break, so hope that answers your question. The next question asks, how are the baby guppies doing? Again, I've been actually pretty um, active on Instagram, at least in my stories. So if you don't know what they're talking about, you can go check out my guppies um, highlight on my Instagram. But my guppies did have babies, and they're doing so great. I thought they would be bigger by this point, because it's been like, what, almost two months now, I want to say? But they're like still like this big. They are getting bigger, definitely, and they are growing, but... Uh, they're doing well, and I think I have six. Yeah, I have six um, guppies that ended up making it throughout the whole thing. Unfortunately, though, the mother who actually gave birth to them did pass away. I want to say maybe two weeks ago. Um, I don't know what it was, but she looked very pregnant. Like, she was definitely pregnant. So I don't know if she was, like, locked up or whatever. But she was pregnant, and she was pregnant for, like, a long time, too. So I should actually look into that, but I figured I'd let you guys know about that anyway. Someone else said, I didn't know you breed bearded dragons. So, I don't. Um, I did, but I don't, if that makes sense. Like, in other words, I did that before in the past. I will never do that again. Um, a stupid mistake, and I'm not going to go into too much into it, because I can make a whole video about that itself, and I really should, actually. But I did do that before, like I mentioned in the past, and I was sending lizards out all across the country like a madman. And it was not a fun experience because I it was not ready to be a breeder at the time. In other words, yeah, no, I'm not a bearded dragon breeder. I am way, 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 way more educated on it now. And I can, like, easily do it again. And actually, speaking of that, my bearded dragon Athena is gravid. She's right now in the whole, like, seasonal thing right now. She's scratching, terrorizing her cage. But to answer your question, no, I'm not a bearded dragon breeder. But I did breed them before. Successfully a couple times, actually. Um, this person asks... What is one, one pet product that you wish you didn't buy? So this is actually um, a pet product that I have right there which I can go grab. Guys, there is so much mouse poop on my chair. She's just been letting them fly. So one pet product that I wish I didn't buy was this. This is like the Imaginatarium or Imaginatarium, whatever Petco's brand is. Uh, it's like a tur floating turtle automatic feeder. Uh, I've used this thing like once or twice. 
I can't remember how much it was. It wasn't that expensive though. I'm sorry I'm all over the place guys right now. I'm trying to like manage this mouse and this is falling apart. But um, that's not why I don't like it. It's just kind of pointless. I feel like once you, as soon as you put it in the water, all the flu, food just starts to float out. They don't really even have to knock it. All you do is put it in there and it just kind of all comes out. Kind of a waste of money. Um, it's not a terrible product. It doesn't do anything bad other than not doing what it's supposed to do, I guess. Which is like floating feeder. It kind of advertises it as they knock it. It lets a little bit out at a time, but definitely don't recommend this. Um, this next person asked, are you ever going to make bandanas again? So again, they're referring to my Etsy shop. Um, I did make lizard bandanas, or really any pet bandanas for that matter. Uh, and I have that listing inactive right now because I'm just now starting to open my shop up more with more listings and products and new items, which I'm really, really excited about. Um, and I do hope to do that again someday um, soon. But the shops are like either closed or all sold out of like fabric quarters and fabrics that I used to use and even other nice ones. So I don't know when the next time I'm gonna be able to make them is, but as soon as stuff becomes available again, I will definitely be making those again because those were um, a really good seller for me before. The next person asks, do you play instruments? Yes, I play viola and piano. Uh, this other person asks, will you ever sell mouse or hamster food? Stop crawling on my neck. Um, and the answer to that is probably no. Um, actually, I just finished a nutrition course. It's in like an animal science nutrition course, and it was extremely detailed. And I even had to do a ration balancing project where I like rationed um, or created a ration for any animal that I picked, and like you had to formulate protein and all that kind of stuff for it. So I know a lot actually now about balancing rations and diets and things for animals, but I don't think I would do that at least any time within the foreseeable future just for a lot of reasons as like diet is one of the biggest things that influences pets health and I think that you should definitely talk to your vet about that and a lot of research will have to go into that so for a short answer not anytime soon guys they really poop all behind my chair I'm gonna have to clean these up oh my goodness all right guys so I just put Ivy back in the cage and I'm gonna answer one more question before I close this video out and that is just um, someone who asked if I had any pet regrets. I actually touched on probably my only two regrets ever, I think, actually in this video. And that was one, actually, I didn't really regret anything because I, everything definitely happened for a reason. I'm a strong believer in that. And, you know, uh, you learn from every experience. And from the things that I would say I regret, I definitely learned a lot from. So I wouldn't necessarily say I regretted it. But um, I definitely wouldn't do it if I could ever, uh, I can't talk today. <laughs> definitely wouldn't do it if I could rewind time and do it all over again. But those two things being uh, breeding bearded dragons, just because, you know, although, you know, breeding is natural and everything, breeding your pets, not that it has anything specific to do with a pet, but, you know, if you want a pet, you usually want it as a pet, not a breeder. And breeding can sometimes, you know, diminish the quality of life and life longevity of your animals and there's some things that we don't even really know what breeding does to an animal stress and the next thing would be definitely the way I cared for my guinea pig obviously I know so much more about guinea pigs I have a really good friend who owns tons of guinea pigs and she has great setups and all that kind of stuff so you know uh, just looking back it's like I literally had her in one of those what is it super pet my first pet home it had like the burgundy base with the white cage on it and your typical like fiesta diet was what she was getting. She was getting hay. I literally did no research. I just listened to the Petco employees. Um, I did mean well of course but all kids mean well and they still end up jacking their pets up. So definitely I wish I would have taken better care of Destiny. May she rest in peace. And guys, that is all the questions that I have for today's video. If you guys would like me to do a part two for these videos, um, I would definitely love to do that because there's more questions that uh, I could have answered, but I tend to ramble and I don't want to make this video forever long. But if you guys have other questions or if you asked a question and I didn't get to it, definitely leave it again down below or let me know that you guys would like to see another question and answer video. So if you guys are not already following me on Twitter and Instagram, make sure you do that to keep up to date with me because I'm way, way, way more active on those, especially Instagram stories, to keep you guys up to date with what I'm doing, where I'm at, uh, projects I'm working on, behind the scenes stuff, and all those updates that you guys would know if you were following me on there. So make sure you definitely go um, check me out. It's, my handle is at Curtis Lesane, um on 
Twitter and Instagram. And then I also obviously have an Etsy shop um, where I create pet supplies. And I have so many new listings coming out, guys. I promise you, you definitely want to at least check these out. I've worked so, 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 so hard on them. And I actually want to make some, like, Etsy kind of videos in the future with, like, business and how I make my products, the whole thought process. So if you guys wouldn't mind, like, letting me know what you think about that, also comment that down below in the comment section below. But, uh, yeah, that's all I have for today's video, guys. You can check out my Etsy link in the description of today's video. I forgot to say that. But uh, until the next time, I hope you guys all stay safe and healthy, and I hope to see you all in the next one. <laughs>